Okay, now we need to make sure the chip is aligned perfectly to the um, to the pads. So if I look at it, you really don't want to look from the side. You have to always look straight down, and you can use the the um, the layout on the board should be perfect, and the board should be perfect always. So if you really just visually look at it from above and you look around the pads, you will notice that it's more on this side, less on this side, so it has to move this way or maybe this side, this way. If it, if it only needs to be rotated, you can push on the chip and rotate it slightly because uh, it's only side of the one pin, remember? So we, we are free to move from this point as a center. But if we have to move it this way or that way, or up and down, left and right, then we have to melt that solder so we can move the pin. Um, there's only you can only push slightly before making this pin touch the one that's next to it. Remember, there is pin next to it, so you can uh, bend this pin too far. So I'm gonna look up. Let me see. Okay, I can see. I'm not sure if you can see it, so let's look from like right from above, like straight down. So maybe we both can see it. The chip looks. Uh, what is the light? Okay. So the chip is more this way. See, there's more on this side than it is on this side. So you can see it. This is small. This is big. The chip has to come this way. And um, I really can't do it through the camera. I have to do it through the lens. But I'm gonna try just to show you. So I'm gonna hold it like I'm holding the corners, two fingers, a little pressure and I can move the chip. So I want it to go this way. Push it back a little bit. Is it better? Mm, yeah, it looks a lot better. I'm looking through the camera so I really can't tell for sure. So. Um, Double check. It looks okay. It needs to come slightly this way. Uh, okay, now it's good. Now it's good, but it only needs to be rotated. So I can tell the chip, like over here, it's perfect, it's all perfect, but it's from this point center, it's slightly rotated because there's only one pin, so there's a chance that this is uh, slightly um, rotated up on the, or down. So now that I am a hundred, no, a thousand percent sure that it's in place. Now it's my second chance. You over here, you get two chances to get this right. Um, first one when you do this, and then when you do the second pin. But after that, you really there's no uh, going back. So I'm going to do another pin. I can do it on this corner or this corner. It doesn't really matter. I just need another pin soldered. So not in the middle, the very edge. It's really easy because you cannot touch it from the side. You cannot touch the pin. So I'm going to touch the pin from the side. Okay. And now I can look at it, see if it needs to be rotated. Now I can hit the spin and push it. Now, again, what I'm doing here when I hit the pin and push it, I only do this to do a very, very small tweaks. I don't heat it because it's way off. You cannot do that. Very, very slightly off, like off to the point where you really can't see it on the camera. So let me check. Uh, no, this needs to be up. Perfect. Look at this, gorgeous. Can you see it? I wish this camera can focus. Can we do lens on a lens? Let's try this. This is a lens and a lens. I don't know if it makes any difference. <laughs> it looks further, actually, not bigger. So that's not helping. Um, okay. So the chip is in place and it's perfect. Now we need the pins soldered and we don't need the pins touching each other. And how do we do that? Uh, it's pretty easy actually. That was the difficult part what we did. Centering the chip. Again, you center the chip, you're you're good. You don't center it right, don't go any further because you have you have to get that right first. So this is how you do it. Um now we need the thin. If you don't have the thin solder, that's fine too. Uh you need the very thin solder. And if you have a, a real pointy 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 uh 
uh, soldering iron, you can use that solder. And what you can do is lay down this on this side like this, and then you can come under a magnifier. I'm I'm not using magnifier. I can so um, I may not do it perfectly, but you can come this way. You can do one at a time. Don't worry if you get them touching. I'm gonna do each side differently. I'm gonna show you how to do it different ways. So don't think you're gonna have a, you're gonna make a bubble of uh, a lot of solder here like a, a ball of solder. You really don't want that. You're barely touching the tip with this with the solder, and I'm like sliding it down. See, I made a short here. That's okay. Don't worry about it. Don't 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 come back and try to get it off. Just let it go. Made another one. Again, it's okay. Okay, so now I probably have too much solder on here because I was doing this on the whole pins. I'm going to top it out, make sure any any solder on the pin left is gone. Now, remember how I bent the pin? Now, I rotated the, this until I make sure that I have, like, some sort of an angle here. I don't want the... If you have a tip that is too pointy and it goes between the... Um, between the pins, it can bend the if it goes like right into here between the pins, it can really bend the chip, bend the pins, and you cannot fix it anymore. You really have to throw it away, probably throw the whole board away. So you don't want super super tiny pin. Uh, this will be uh, just perfect to do this. Now, um, what do what what I do to get this off? Oh, can you see it? There is a short right here and a short right here. I can see it. Um, and I need to get this little solder off. Uh, one thing I can do is um, remember how I, I made the pin so it's the tip so it's slightly bent. I don't want it to go in the pins. I want it in between the pins, but I still don't want too much like this. So I have it slightly bent. So I know a very slight portion of the uh, tip is going through the pins. The chip is now in place and one side is completely soldered um, now we lost our chance to move the chip if you now if you finish this side and you want to do this side um, and you realize the the chip is too much down it's the the pads the pins are not on the pads correctly you really can't do anything about it that's it so don't bother and move on and, or do anything try to fix it you cannot um, so when I did solder the sides, I see this over here and here. I did, um, when I did touch the pins, I did put too much solder here, and this is okay. I'll show you how to fix it. So first I'm going to clean the uh, the tip like I did before. So I'll put some solder on it and tap it out so it's like it's all shiny and clean now. So what I need, see this, how it's bent? I need this bent this way, and I need to come on the pins. I'm too much down. I need to be up like this. So it's barely touching the pins. So when the tip goes down, it's touching two or three pins. And I'm going to try to brush it down. What I do, what happens when you brush it down, the pins that are not soldered, that have not enough, doesn't have enough solder on them, they will get soldered. There is still some solder on the pin. And the pins that have too much solder on them, it will equalize with the how much solder you have on the tip, and it will take, get rid of that solder. So I'm, I'm going to try to do it. Uh, again, it's difficult with the camera and everything here. I need, I need more light. So, just like that. Don't push too hard. You just want to touch it and slide out. Oh, look, perfect. Keep, keep going, keep going, keep going. And I fixed this one too. So I have now I have one pin one side completely done and it's uh, it's good to go.